what's up guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we're going to learn how to design this calendar in pixel app and we're also going to learn how to put it on mockup to achieve this all right so if you're new to my channel please click the subscribe button and please 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 like this video so that youtube can recommend it to a lot of people or to other people thanks for watching and let's get into the tutorial guys let's get started so the first thing to set your design workspace i'm going to set my image size to the width is going to be 3508 and the height is going to be 4961 okay so this is what we're going to have i'm going to delete all of this give my background a white color so that i can see what i'm going to be doing all right so let's go to our busy tool activate it touch your screen to add two more points okay and then click here to close it from a single shape all right and then i click here so you can control the points okay i did a video on how to use a bezier tool the link will be in the description so i want to control this point because my interest is just to have the curve that you guys uh this curve here i don't i'm not trying to create any shape all right now i'm going to scroll up here the stroke width is at five i'll take it off completely and i'll click on the fill color and i'll give it this color or any color because i'm still working on it all right so that's it and i click on okay so we're going to use this shape just because i'm interested in this curve okay i don't care about the rest so i want to make it so big that's going to take my entire screen big enough to have something like this i'm going to rotate big enough to have something like this because this this right here this is my interest okay this is my main interest now when i do that i can lock it but i'm not done so let me copy this i need to have two of this now one is going to have i'm going to activate this one is going to have this color one is going to have this color and this one is going to be behind the other one so i'm going to send this to the back excuse me let me put this here like this then now the one under is what we are currently working with and i'm going to use my position button to move it the right position something like that so you need to do a good job here balance it properly and then we're going to have something something like this okay now the next part of this design we need to import the calendar that i got all right now first let's get a shape so you're going to get a shape you put the shape here you work on the ridges a little bit have it curved have it curved like that and then insert 14 percent i think is good now you increase this the shape size to something like this work work on it a little bit to have, so that you can have this all right now next step highlight the shape go to texture click here to add the texture and then you go to calendar so this is the calendar i got it from 365.com calendar365.com now i want to take off this holiday section i can take it off i don't need it so if you are going to use it it's up to you all right and then i'll add it to the shape we're going to have this now i'm going to click on maintain ratio activate it so it's going to fit on the shape i don't want any extra lines so this is what we're going to have so add the shape and use texture to put the shape uh, the calendar in the shape all right so we have that next let's get our picture so the picture i'm going to be using i'm going to be using your name c sorry the picture is already available in, down here import the picture we're going to be using this one okay import it and i'm going to flip it with 3d rotate along the y-axis because i want it to be All right guys and i'll send it to the back click on to back and it's sending to the back like that so i want to have a little bit send it to the back control the picture and you know to get the things you want to show show up so that's it we're almost done with the calendar it's pretty easy all right the next thing we need our text plus sign 
takes 2023 calendar so we're gonna have 2023 and the font i'm going to be using here is going to be Montserrat. oh sorry yes Montserrat black i'm going to be using Montserrat black and the color i'm going to give it white I'm going to give it white like that now I'll use my position relative position button to make sure i set it up properly i'm just going to copy this text to edit the word calendar in caps okay and i'm going to position this one here as well so now the, the calendar size the text size I'm going to make sure i have a good size for both of them like this this is currently 44 this will do and you are currently 55 so i'll take you to 44 as well all right and then you can use your position button to sorry move it like that so that's what we have now I can work with the size 45, 46, 45, 46. It's good that you edit one and then apply it all. So this one is okay. This is what we have here now. So I can add the name of the player. I can say I'm copy this text. Let me say I add Lionel Messi. Lionel Messi. I'm going to put it somewhere around here. All right, guys. So that's it. It's pretty simple. So it's nothing else left to add here. Probably my logo is up here and my icons for my social media icons down here. So I'm just going to do that and I'm going to be really, really fast. I'm going to speed up. I don't really want to be showing how I'm going to take that. We all know how to take something from our phone. So just please watch how I do it real quick. so i'm done with putting my social media icons and my logo up here so we're done with this design guys it's pretty easy so all you need to do now is either you're saving it as a project or you're saving as an image in your phone now if you want to apply it on a mock-up to get like the one i have on my thumbnail i'm talking example like this or this all you need to do is go to your browser and search for smartmockups.com this is the website it's pretty cool you can go to print click on print when you open the website click on notebooks and notepad right here and then you will see a lot of mockups all you need to do is click on any one of them and upload your design to it thanks for watching i'll leave this link for the website smartmockups.com in the description thanks for watching guys see you in my next video